can I build my business and still date or should I hold off and only focus on business? You should do both. The goal as a man, as a human being, man or a woman, really, you should always be trying to get better, trying to get a little better each and every day because success in life in anything really is the result of discipline. It's taking care of your body. It's disciplining yourself to move often, eat healthfully, to focus on the things you love and enjoy and find a way to monetize your passions or choose careers and things that are a lot of fun to you, having people that in your, in your inner circle that are good to you, good for you, good for your soul, dating, if you're a guy, dating women that are easygoing, easy to get along with, communicate, and are fun to be around, and are bubbly, and generally happy, and optimistic, and set of chicks that are hotheads and fly off the handle all the time. Life is hard enough. It's like way too many people that we all know are have a lot of people in their life that are just causing a lot of problems for them. Because somebody that's got drama all the time, well, if you're hanging out with them, their drama becomes your drama, and you get caught up in it. And that becomes a full-time focus, and it takes your focus off of your business. Yep. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. So it's important. And then the other thing is, you, you know, as Tony would say, Robbins would say, the quality of your life is in direct proportion to the expectations of your peer group. And so it's if you're a, a successful entrepreneur, you should know other successful entrepreneurs. Because if you're hanging out with people that have been an entrepreneur but failed, anything you learn from them is going to be from the perspective of a business that didn't work out. And so it's going to be better to be surrounded by people that are doing it, that are succeeding or have succeeded and sold their company for a lot of money or whatever it happens to be. And maybe now they just trade, trade stocks. So as a man, you're always like, you know, as the, uh, Michelangelo and he's made that big giant thing, the David, the sculpture, it's like just chipping away over the, uh, I don't know. I think it took him years to, to make that. Cause there was so much, I think it was huge or is huge. I should say. And so we're all kind of like that. We're all kind of chipping away at these big giant marble blocks trying to make who we are. And it's just time and repetition and getting up every day and doing things you don't want to do, doing things that you have to do even when you don't feel like it because that's what discipline is, going to the gym or eating healthy or picking up the phone and calling somebody or taking some action on something that you need to do. It's like, what what do I have to get done today before I go to bed at night? And if that's becoming more outgoing and more friendly to people you meet in the street or asking more girls out or whatever it happens to be, then you got to do that too. So you should always be trying to get better because you never know. You never know when your future ex-wife is going to come into your life or your future ex-girlfriend or the next great love of your life. You got to keep moving forward. And date at the same time. Yeah, all of the above. Be a well-rounded person. But at times... Because if, especially if you had a breakup and a lot of people that are, especially that are new, it take, you know, if you've had a long-term relationship and you had a breakup, it's, most people take about a year and a half to really get over it. So it's okay to take time for yourself and to heal and get your life back in order and reconnect with friends or family you may have lost contact with and get to the place where you really enjoy your time alone, enjoy your life, your social life, what you do for fun. And then when you enjoy your own company, you're a great company for somebody else.